Hello, Hockey Painter Daryl here. <laughs> it's a trip doing these videos, I have to tell you. I'm used to painting, not doing videos, so it's a trip. Uh, I got my hair cut, so it kind of looks more like it is in the photo. I'm very excited. I finished the eye, which is exciting. And uh, I can't wait to show that and talk about some art things. And uh, one of the things, and why I do art the way I do it. So I'm kind of excited to share a little bit of that. I wish I could show more painting, but I don't know if, you know, how many people want to sit and watch, unless you were next to me, watch me paint for a half hour, 45 minutes, and that's how long it is, you know. Someone suggested, you know, why don't you do a um, uh, time lapse, but I don't know how to do those things. I'm an, I'm an old man, and I'm, I don't know these newfangled things. Uh, Boston Bruins jersey, hockey painter Daryl. So I have my hockey jersey on while I'm doing the painting, so I'm excited. So let's go over, and I'm going to take the camera over, and I think I'll hold up my hand. Yeah, look at that. Better than the board I had. For any hand readers out there. So here we go. I'm going to start with my Daryl Smith, the hockey, my website, as you can see there, hockeypainter.com. I hope you check it out. And if you want to email me, hockeypainter at gmail.com. I'd like to remind people that I do portraits. I, I commission. If you want one done, drop, check my website and give me a holler, and we can talk about doing a portrait. I don't just paint on sticks, so... Give me a, a shout. So today's quote, because I love quotes, I always have lots of them that I think art, artists should work with quotes. Painting and art cannot be taught. You can save time if someone tells you to put blue and yellow together to make green. But the essence of a painting is a self-disciplined activity that you have to learn by yourself. Nothing could be truer. Uh, I was never taught art. Sounds kind of strange because I was an art teacher, but I was never taught how to do it. And I, I was shown things, but not taught. So here is the painting as we are, where I'm at. And you can see the eye is finished, and I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to put this up here while I... It helps if you don't put your hand over that. I hope these are kind of comical. They should be comical. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I am a funny guy. People have told me that, so we're going to do, <laughs> do the humor. So, left eye, this is finished. It's actually my right eye, but it's left on the wood. And as you can see, uh, I like the shading back there. I really like it a lot. I don't have, like... It's weird doing it around the glasses, but I like it. I am going to have to do a, some stuff up here when I finish that. But I had I moved everything because I'm doing this eye, and I like the light over here. As you can see, it's brighter when I turn that on. And I moved this over to the right side because I'm not going to use this as much. And I noticed the drawing, the pupil is a little bit larger, so... I'm going to have to work on this, but it's going to be fun, and I'm going to start it today. So this is done. So the next time you see this, this will be finished and then the hard part. And then I come down like this and you will get to see all that as it goes. I think I'll do the glasses. No, I'll have to do around here then the glasses. So decision making comes on as it always does. But one of the things I, why I like doing it like this on the stick because of the tie into hockey and I played hockey since I was a very, very young man, young boy. I never liked doing backgrounds. And even when I was in college or whatever, you know, I'd have different people say, oh, just think of this as the atmosphere or the surrounding. And I thought, that's just dumb. It is, the, to me, the portrait, the person, that's the foreground, that's the important part. I never saw the other areas as important. I don't, I'm not really big on clothing. Uh, it actually takes me sometimes longer than this, if you can believe it, because it's just, I'm disinterested by it. So, and I don't know if I'm going to put a hockey jersey on or not. I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this point, but I'm very happy with the way this looks. And as I always say, as an artist, you really need, you really need the next day to come back and see 
how it looks that's really important. Uh, that's a, a key element to doing a portrait. You know, I, I watch portraits on YouTube and I try to see how people do it and their techniques and there's like a billion of them on there. And I don't know if they really, like that says, I don't know if you really can teach somebody. You just have to work at it. You can pick up things, you know, from other people. And I think with this, it's just, I want to show people like they're curious, like what's the process? Because people that don't make art really don't know the process. And I thought that was important to show the how it's done. I did one before where I showed each step, but it wasn't the time. And people always ask me, I always say, gee, well, how long does it take? Well, eh, a while. So anyways, uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping in. And next time you will see this finish. So it will start becoming more and more looking like me. So have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.